Hello everyone and welcome to the Spirit Baby Diaries podcast. This is a place where the extraordinary whispers of the yet to be born come to life. Through listening to this podcast, you'll be joining us for an uplifting and unfiltered adventure, a bridge between the spiritual and physical worlds. My name is Katie Williams. I'm your host and a spirit baby medium. Through my intuitive gifts, I connect with the souls who are intending on joining us here on earth in this lifetime. This podcast is for those of you who are fascinated by the creation and miracle that we call life. Thank you so much for joining me today. Let's get started with today's episode. Hello everyone and welcome to the February 2024 Spirit Baby Forecast. If you are new to these forecasts, basically we start off with a card reading into the Spirit Baby realm and the collective message that the Spirit Babies have for us. And then we go into a full intuitive reading. So we just jump right into things and get started. And what I do is I have an oracle card deck that I shuffle and I allow three cards to fall out of the deck. Today I'm using the Magical Messages from the Fairies oracle cards. And I've used this deck in previous forecasts because I love them and they're straightforward. I'm going to start shuffling and we will see what cards come out today. I did recently get a new card deck. And it's a tarot deck, but I haven't done tarot in a really long time. So I didn't want to use it for this forecast because I have to relearn what all the cards mean. But I'm happy that I'm expanding my card collection. I used to have a lot of cards and um, I forget what happened to them. But either way, I need to like rebuild my entire Oracle deck because I love Oracle cards. And of course, when I get the hang of tarot again, then I'll bring that into these forecasts. So the three cards fell out and now we're going to flip them over. Okay, so there's a lot of nature energy coming through here. The first card that we have is emotional healing and it says, as your heart heals of old emotional pain, you receive new blessings and love. And then we have connect with nature. You are rejuvenated and inspired by spending time outdoors. And then we have the vegetarian card, which says a new way of eating gives you more energy, greater health, clarity, and stronger manifestation abilities. My attention is being drawn to the heart here. And I'm hearing that there's this feeling of not being able to let go of an emotion that is no longer serving you. And I'm seeing this for the overall collective. So in some forecasts, I'll break down like this message is for women and couples trying to conceive. This message is for people who are already parents. But this one is for the overall collective, no matter what situation you're in. So by by doing this with what's coming through, it'll help you to strengthen your connection with the children that you have already, or it'll help your current fertility journey. So my attention is being drawn to the heart with the emotional healing card here first. And I'm being shown this image of like, a string dangling from someone's fingers and the string is representing a lot of emotional healing and inner work that you've already done but you're holding on so tight to that upper part of the string so the rest of the string is just like waving back and forth but then that little part of it is just stuck between your fingers and you're not letting it go. So I'm going to look into this further and get further clarity on what emotion this is. Okay, I'm hearing the word resentment. 
I'm saying that with this feeling of resentment, it's come up because you have felt like you've been doing all of the work and you feel like you've been putting all the effort in. And because of that, you are feeling resentful. But what I'm hearing is that there has actually been a lot of growth underneath the surface that you're not seeing just yet. And that is pulling me to the vegetarian card because I feel like I feel like this card isn't necessarily about the vegetarian diet or lifestyle, but the fact that in this card we can see here, I know this isn't on video, but I'm going to do my best to describe it. There are a few flowers that are just beginning to bloom. And then we have this fairy here with butterfly wings. And next to her is this fully blossomed group of flowers. I can't tell what kind of flowers they are. Okay, they're flowers and it looks like grapes or some type of berry. And what I'm hearing is that the blossom is coming but you have to be patient with what's happening underneath. And I'm hearing that by holding on to this resentment, it's not allowing the results that you want to bloom. So now my connection is coming to this connect with nature card. And I'm gonna tune in for a second and see how this connects with letting go of this feeling or the feeling in general. Okay, so I'm hearing the word grounding. There needs to be a grounding element for you in order to let this go. And this involves you setting a boundary either with yourself or someone else about what more you can or can't take on. And this is actually a theme that I have seen lately with um, some clients that I did spirit baby readings for this week. There's been this theme that I've seen come up and I've mentioned it in the next few podcast episodes that I have recorded because I think it's a very common and relatable theme, theme that comes up of saying, you know, I did this, I did that, I did that. What more can I do? But it's not about doing more. It's about shifting into a different way of being and getting comfortable with this new way of being. So a lot of times, many of us won't, we won't shift into a different way of being because it doesn't feel right and it feels a little uncomfortable. When we get into doing the inner work and doing healing work, we don't instantly feel comfortable with it because it's good for us. Because we have to remember that we're undoing a lot of years of emotional things that we have taken on. And so when we come into this new way of being, it's like, like you want to pull your hair out because you don't know how to act, how to behave. A lot of these things are behaviors, right? It's a cycle. We, we have actions. Those actions cause thoughts. Thoughts cause feelings and emotions. And it's a cycle that keeps on continuing. So I'm hearing that by having this grounding element, setting boundaries with yourself or someone else, and I'm also hearing taking a step back and either getting a different perspective from your own mind or someone else will help you to let go of this resentment. And it feels like when you're able to let go of that, it'll open up a lot of energy for you. So I'm not hearing that there's a different message in this card for if you're trying to conceive or if you already have children. I'm hearing that this is a pretty general message. And I'm actually hearing the word mom guilt. I know that's also a common thing that a lot of moms have where it's like, am I doing this right? But you have to remember that doing things right is different from person to person. What might be right for one person might not be what works for you. 
and the spirit babies are inviting you to take a step back and to evaluate if this thing that you're doing or holding on to is beneficial. And if not, then this is your permission to let go of it. By letting go of it, I'm hearing that you'll want, you'll want to hold on to it again because it's been there like lingering in the background for so long and now it wants to come out. And by it coming out, you're like, wait, now I have to let this go? Like, I don't know what that feels like. But I'm hearing that by continuing to be disciplined with these boundaries and with this new way of being, that'll fade away and you won't feel the need to hold on to this anymore. Okay, let me see if there are any additional messages that want to come through with the cards. Okay, that wraps up the card messages for today. Okay, you guys, if you have been listening up until this point, thank you so much for tuning in. The rest of this reading is for the paid subscriber community on Substack only. By subscribing on Substack and clicking upgrade to paid, you will have access to one full Spirit Baby Forecast audio per month, as well as one subscribers only article or podcast episode. If you are already a paid subscriber, you can continue listening to this episode. I hope to see you on the other side.